Hello there everyone and welcome back to more Crusader Kings multiplayer. Alas, I did not post the Tuesday session since in truth, all we really got out of that session was 3 maybe 4 years worth of progress. Just enough time for the crusade to come to its uh, grand conclusion, with our forces ultimately being repelled, alas. And it's a little bit unfortunate that I had all my troops over here. Maybe the last week was a bad session for me, arguably. Due to the fact that I should have been down here, probably. Even though I didn't really want an alliance with uh, the Roman Empire, or the Eastern Roman Empire, simply because I got this alliance just to help Burgerman kind of reclaim his empire. Even if that may not have ultimately been needed. If that was the intention, I didn't really want an alliance here, hell, in all honesty. I don't really want an alliance with anyone in the West either, at least following up my original theme since they were all part of the original Roman Empire, at least the Holy Roman Empire I think it was called. I am pretty much content to just be allied with at least the border between Asia and Europe. And thankfully it's kind of been staying that way to an extent, although, let's see, who, what are my current alliances so far? That is for, oh that is one of my siblings. Yeah, that's an alliance with my heir. That's an alliance with Carpatia. And then I have an alliance in the attempt to try and reclaim somehow this duchy, which I still think is going terribly for me. There is a possibility, but I ultimately have no idea how this works. I'm assuming that if they're my bloodline, if I can get them in my court, maybe there might be something I can do. But I don't have the faintest idea how to get this back. Like with what's been happening with the realm up here I've been acquiring, or how Burgerman even got this duchy to begin with. I am at a loss, and this is probably a really important thing, because I don't want to be a random warmonger, but if I can at least encourage uh, conflict with my realm, since no one really wants to go against me for whatever reason, then that's a really good compromise for me, I think, rather than just proactively going to war, because in all honesty, it seems like everyone is butting up with everyone else, and trying to go to war for territory means everyone else is going to gang up on me, and that's going to cause a lot of problems for the future, because in theory, that gives them incentive to retaliate against me, and with all their allies in bay, they could probably do that. Although with Kingdoms and Emperor, another thing I haven't really considered is the amount of prestige it might cost to call them all into war. And it does justify me going to war for that reason too, but again, it feels like that's a small issue, or a minor issue at this point, since it's not really difficult to reduce the cost of at least going to war. I'm going to have to look into how much it truly costs, I think it's 1200 maybe even 1600 to call an emperor, but a good handful of people are still kings, I believe, and not truly emperors at this point. Yeah, this is a kingdom title with Bavaria. Italy is an actual empire. They're an empire, okay. Germany is a kingdom. Conveniently, if I did want to ally with all the Western Europe, it would actually be more affordable for me to call them into war as opposed to... Was it the... The Nicians? I don't know how you pronounce this. I'm trying not to say Nietzscheans because that's damn Andromeda. The Andromeda series is where I know of the Nietzscheans. Either way, the Italy war is at an end, alas, or the crusade, but I did have a moment, noteworthy, where I believe I I rushed to conquer Como here. They start to bring their army in piecemeal with against my 40,000, I think. No one came to support me, but because I rushed this and I was in the hills and had really good defender's advantage, I was basically fighting off their troops 2-1. to one. I think I took out almost 70-ish thousand of their troops. At least I lost 20,000 or 40,000 by the time they had me overwhelmingly outnumbered 100,000 to 20,000, I think. And by then, I think I got maybe close to 60,000 retreated. I don't know actual kills, sadly. But even then, that is a moment I was happy with as far as actually contributing, even if it was still a loss. I just hope things continue to go smoothly from here on out. Yeah, it looks like you maybe took the capital and you're already halfway done. Yeah, I took the capital already. 
Now you just got to grab the rest of their territory, because I don't think they have very many counties. One. Yeah, just the one county. Sadly, yeah. I would kind of would have hoped since you got both the county and the kingdom title. Uh, actually, of... you are... Are you seeing the right one? Jeez, no, you're not doing... actually seizing the right one. Which one looks... is it? Is it this... Oh no! You already claimed her. So. Yeah, it's already it's already claimed. Okay. So, I, which is why I'm I figured it would have already gotten a hundred percent. But I guess you need to conquer more of the kingdom, maybe. Exactly. Yeah, I think so. I don't know if that's going to cause a penalty hit to the other vassals or dukes if you siege their territory. But good opportunity to weaken those that are powerful enough to uh, fight against you. I guess. Now that I have the money, let's make you like me a bit more. Welcome to our communion, sister. Although, is that really needed? Not at the moment. Although, that's going to change very quickly due to the tyranny. Huh. Are you worth having? He gets opinion of me regardless, which is kind of funny. Don't know if I care about him. Alright, you're getting happy. That's fine. We'll get one more sway and then I'll s and try and improve relations with the other one. Ooh. Although I don't see... Um, let's see. I am getting all these claims. It's just a question of how to do them. If I'm even going to chance going for those up in prison because, oh, you're a fornicator and you do, oh, you have a barony title. That's not nearly as exciting at the moment. More notable guests. That's probably because I invite all a whole bunch of people. That might be why. And there's not really much point on a pilgrimage is there, especially since I already did one. The main thing I want is to work towards a prop, uh, absolute crown authority and maybe a proper heir. I gotta find my right child. Okay, so my grandson is a good choice here. At least one of my grandsons. Sadly, they're only hail, which I dislike a little bit. I would like to improve that. And you're club footed. Which I guess isn't really a deal breaker, but the fact you're not a genius kind of is. So I may just take my grandson as opposed to my great grandson. And actually, let me try and, and educate some of my other children. Yeah, you are a really good candidate, actually. I think I'm going to take you. Okay, I take that back. Oh, that's because you're in the... And there's no way I can get you... Unless I imprison you. That's the only exception. And foreign... No, really a foreign court, which... Nah, that's unfortunate. Structure's done there. We can continue building. A little annoying we don't have any music at the moment, but... We'll go with it. 82%, almost there. Don't know what else you could do besides just siege, siege random counties. And, yeah, best of all, if I can get no size self, that will help a lot with preparing for my Ruler passed away, but preparations do need to be made still. And oh, culture was... Empress of Carpathia. Yes. How, what would your uh, opinion be on a transfer of land? In a, in a way. Who is being transferred land? 
So you would be getting Crimea. Mm -hmm. In exchange, you would allow Bulgaria for Croatia. Uh, no. Doesn't sound at all. Anything no. make that go through? Or... Oh, nah. Now I get a friggin' hook. Okay, well, I'll leave it at a no now, but, you know, if you change your mind, let us know. I'll let you know. Now I get a friggin' hook that could have used to save a little bit of tyranny. Oh well. Mouse, my glorious friend. Yes? Could I possibly call you into this war against these rebels? Uh, who's rebelling? Uh, vassals of mine. Um, they're trying to put someone yeah. else in charge of... Yeah, sure. Do you want me to? Oh, okay. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Although I'm not going to be able to take that huge army by myself. Yeah, let me re rally. They're all coming for me. Let me see if I can get Remark in on this, too. Well, I can definitely distract them for you. Since it seems like they are intent on chasing me across my entire empire. Which should be killing them in attrition. Now nah, they're turning back around. Okay. Hmm. Who are you? Coming back around for me. So, I think. I heard that Mouse was just assassinated, and I wanted to let you know that it wasn't an Nicene. Well, that's news to me, considering that I'm still alive. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he sees into the future. Truly, witchcraft is his Clearly, I was going to say, down... I don't foreknowledge that this is interesting, though. Somebody down in the Nicene chat said, well, Mouse was just assassinated. No, they were... My rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Yeah, okay. Well, if somebody else was assassinated, I heard that wrong. Yeah, it wasn't mean. a Nicene doing the assassinating. That's it. Yeah. Be just sus. Yeah, uh... Lorelian, who the hell did you piss off that they have 30,000 soldiers? Hold on. That's a lot of peasants. I can... Duchess of Augsburg. That's... I can't uh. even call Kramer because I'm technically in a war with him on the other side. I've got a vassal of mine that they want to make him king instead. I mean, I could try summoning up all my levies, but even then... I mean, if you summon your levies, I feel like we've got this. We'll see. They've got an absurdly massive army. All right, I'm summoning, up na or summoning them up now. So we'll see if we can double-team them. Where do you want yeah. to meet them? Um, let's actually, you see the, the 5k on planes that they got? Yeah. When you you're ready, we can hit that, yeah. All right, so I'll start moving that direction. 
Okay. Time All right, I'm headed there right now. Time to look into replacing her position, I think. Be a little proactive instead of wait till oh, he dies. Brilliant. Yes? That cost me 450 bucks. I will repay you in kind after <laughs> okay. the Civil War is over. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, well, I think you were right, actually. Unless they keep rolling like that. Yeah, they got some pretty amazing rolls when I was fighting them earlier. Well, that's what happens when they're reckless. Just wildly unpredictable. No, I don't want you as my knight. Although that just shows I desperately need better knights. I think Flitter was one there available. Go. Got the army of Calabria coming to help us out. Oh, my son died? Yeah, my son oh, just my died son too. my son was slain in this glorious battle. And let me tell you, he was an awesome knight. So you better be thankful for this, Lorelian. I am unbelievably thankful. All right. Okay, I'm. Uh, can I disband my um, yes. levies? Yeah, go ahead. I'll keep my men at arms up, but otherwise, that's eating into my treasury. Why is there no just like separate all levies button? Hmm. Nope, replace the marshal. Don't know what happened there, but we got a very capable marshal at least. None of them are a powerful vassal though, so we'll have to work on making them like me a bit. Yeah, stress or more stress. All three of my traits are going to cause me to go critical. Hopefully that can be dealt with pretty soon. I could demand payment. They'll like me a little less, but... Unless... Could I modify taxes? Oh my oh, goodness, I... I'm still stuck at 97%. Well, so long as you have... Conquering stuff. Yeah. And if you... If the ki kingdom... Or the actual kingdom, the, the account that the county they actually own... It gives you war score, then you could just naturally build up, but I don't know a whole lot if that is what you need for the war goal itself. Okay, that's good. Lost the stress at the very least. I am way in debt. I can give you gold. You'll have to accept it though, before I can send more. Accept. Okay, there you go, thank you. There we go, another glorious victory. I'm gonna need your help with this huge mass over here though, once you're finished sieging down those other things. Oh my god, I'm in another civil war. Another one? Why did this start? Okay, what's this huge mass? The mass sieging your capital. Yeah, agreed. Absolute worst case, Kitty, you should consider disbanding most of your army. 
if they only have 500 troops this help with your cash because there's one another hundred for you there you won the war too congrats Disband your troops there yeah, and get your I'm money back. I'm not technically back. in that war for you, Lorelian, but I... Uh, the other one I might be able to do without you if we can beat this first one. Yeah, well, I mean, they're still hostile to me, so I can still fight them. But, uh, that's a freebie. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can stop them from winning the... or from taking the capital. Uh, you're gonna need to come in here and reinforce... Nope, nope. Okay, shit. Yeah, you absolutely... I'm still really far come... away. Like... Yeah. Well, this is going to go badly. But you should be able to take the remainder. And it'll keep them from taking the uh, capital. Oh, or... No, not quite in time. But you keep them from taking the capital. Oh, they have a... Yeah, this was... Yeah. Oh, that's you. You have a good leader. Okay. Merc Dirk's jumping in now. That's why we're paused. Okay. Well, I'm glad that things are going smoothly. Oh no, you're jinxing it. Oh well, not as possible. Unfortunately. Okay, excellent, excellent, Nope, immediately in a, a peasant revolt, but that's easy enough to deal with, I think, Kitty. Just remember, if soon as they're on their rally point, you can't raise your troops, so you may need to make a new one. That's what happened last time. Just let me know what's going on, I'll try and talk you through whatever you need, Kitty. Oh, it's my troops there on the rallying point. I mean, yeah, on the, the peasants. Thing. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what happened last time. You, Interesting. You can... Why is Bergerman talking with the Nicaeans? Conspiracy. Heresy. God knows what. Hopefully this can be upgraded pretty quickly. I was expecting it to complete ages ago and then work on my men-at-arms, which is going to be really nice to get an additional, what is it? Three and a half thousand extra troops just from this level. Well, it's actually more than that considering I get an additional men arm regiment. Yeah, so yeah, be almost 5,000 extra men arms troops once I get them all upgraded. Just a question on what's the weakness, or what should I seriously consider improving with my current regiment, though. Only thing I'm not sure about. Although, sadly, I did not post the last stream due to how problematic it was. I was doing incredibly well on troop casualties in the one battle I was, like, heavily outnumbered. The only downside, though, is I didn't have any swordsmen to negate the strength of their pikemen, but everything else was completely neutered, and with 8,000 more troops... Okay, I I'm trying to raise them at a different rallying point, and I'm probably doing it's something wrong. Well, it's paused at the moment, so it takes time oh, for okay. them to ra raise, and the further away they are from... Or at least the... 
if they're like on the edges of your territory, it takes longer for them to raise too because they're coming from all your realm basically. Whereas your realm capitals example, which is more in the middle, it's kind of faster that way to raise your troops. So you'll need to pay attention how long it takes for them to raise. Which I, I'll have to double check. It should show when you click on the button to raise all or raise local, I think. Yeah, 9 days for mine and 17 days for every single one of my troops to be raised if I chose the one rally point I'm looking at at the moment. So you can have a quick look at them and see how long it will take for them to get up. But because we're paused, you're not going to get them until we get started again. Hello. Hello. Just here to say and wish you guys good night. Good night. And thanks for waiting a whole century since I am loading yet. The loading continues. Yeah, and I didn't forget I owe you 400 gold, Draskovich. I hope not. Yeah. Because I'm a. Because I'm a Kaiser. I pay my debt. I always pay my debt. A trustworthy witch. I never thought I'd see today. No yeah. problem with witches? No. Yeah. They just like. It depends on what religion and ways they follow. There are different types of witches. I think. Yeah, they are. I'm the kind you don't mess with. Because for God's sake, maybe a witch in Mouse's right territory back. could be a Catholic or something. I mean, we're all witches and we're Solomonists. And in Solomonists, would you would you forgive my dad if I if I made converted a to Catholicism or just uh, Solomonism? Sure. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not considering right now. By the way, what's the mood for this game? Are we playing more sessions? I mean, things have been extremely stable this entire thing, so I get the impression we're going to continue. Yeah, we. Otherwise, our previous sessions have been pretty slow progress, but ideally, there's only a hundred years left. We just mm -hmm. have been getting there pretty slowly, though. So yeah, okay, how about this? Uh, if you accept an alliance with marrying your daughter to one of my sons, uh, who is a beautiful, intelligent, robust genius, or beautiful, intelligent, and robust, and convert I'm to back. Solomonism, then I will forgive the remainder of your debt. That's not so much that. <laughs> I'm not desperate to do that, so... I'm yeah. gonna just pay, and we can maintain good relations. All right. And it seems a good idea. I was just wavering some, balancing some facts. All right. And you, Loredan, why are you in the shed and not on the Nicene? That one thing that caught my attention. Why join? Nicene, because I owed Croatia a great debt. Because what? I ended up owing Croatia a great debt. Oh, and you don't want to pay? No, that was the debt. Well, Croatia hasn't been repeatedly bailing you out of civil wars now. Are you going to uh, pay off the debt They're to about me by to converting? Do that. Um, Crash is about to jump into this war. All right. And how's the whole Bavaria situation, Lorena? Right? It was kind of difficult. They're one. in the middle of two civil wars right now. Do we need funding? 
Yeah, it's massively in debt. How massively? 140. Only 140. And that's negative 12 per month. That's not massive. That's manageable. Yeah, that's pretty tiny, actually. I was like 3K in debt some sessions ago. That was massive. Maybe I'm just more debt averse than most people then. But like I said, I'm a Kaiser and I always pay attention. Still waiting a little bit longer for something. That's all I can really say. Something. Is it realistically possible? No, Laurelian. And what? I crashed. God damn it. It's happening again. Oh no. I'll be right back. Oh, well, we're stay, still waiting on the new mark anyway, so... Don't know how far along that loading's coming, though. Yeah, I was at Feech channel, and he talked that I was loading, so... Slow as always. Well, there is an Atlantic Ocean in the way, so I can understand that. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Stupid ocean. With their Loch Ness yeah, yeah. monsters ocean. and eels that I'm seeing on the map. Giant Leviathans. Do you know what's funny? I have a good internet. I almost have to hear. It should be not happening at all. Mm -hmm. They're probably pressing a million buttons and it's making it even slower to load. I don't know. Yeah. They're cons using all this free time to conspire deals, plan schemes, and God knows what else. Oof. Is this your primary imagination about me and my personality? I no, schemer. I'm no, I'm talking uh, about everyone else. <laughs> okay, noted. Now that you're in game, you can do this, what I just suggested, though, or at least accuse them of. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! I think the AI put me in some huge depths. Oh, where's Laurel? He crashed. Uh, he crashed. Uh. Hopefully, he'll be back soon. And we'll have no more issues from here on out, hopefully. Now, who are you at war with? <laughs> they, I just... <laughs> let my levies stand up here. Doing nothing. Oh boy, Kay's reign is starting to go out of control, I think, a little bit if she doesn't manage it. Two years of doing nothing, then. Apparently, doing nothing and going heavily in, deft, in debt. And now uh, Merc Dirk's here, I think. Uh, my so son! I'll I, I, I need more time than I imagine. My 17-year-old son was a Herculean famous champion, and now he's dead. Killed in Mortal Kombat.
I am honestly curious. I should take a look at everyone's duchies to see if really these are probably what kind of duchy building I should be focusing on since I've been seeing a consistent theme of the men at arms ones which considering reduces the price by 10% that helps tremendously with the maintenance costs especially when having multiples of them I should seriously look into that I just thought improving the knights seemed good at the time considering my interest in going back into martial Now it's just a big question of knowing who owns the duchy. Okay, no duchy here. No duchy here. I'm more interested in the ones that are owned by the players. Okay, interestingly, they got the uh, knights here. So maybe that's not true, but I'm looking at just France. Who else should I look into? Let's have a look at our adversaries. That might help a little bit. If I can find the right duchies, that is. Since, yeah. That is your realm. I just didn't know which character to look for. So that's men arms. Interesting. Let's see. All holdings in this duchy. Actually, oh, Aquitaine's pretty bad at that, too. They're having a hard time as well, huh? Yeah, they always surprised me. Oh, uh... All right, Feej. Let's see what you've been getting. For your men arms, or duchy buildings. That's what I'm honestly curious about. I think we already know that answer at this point. Huh, knights here. And more knights, so they're dedicated to the knights. Let's see, boom. With so much territory, it's hard to tell which duchies they have, actually. I could check that, I guess. That's a kingdom. Kingdom. And they have those two duchies there. Let's have a look. They're just all about income. And more income. All about the hoarding, are you, boom? Alright, Lorelei's coming back in. Fingers crossed that there are no issues. And who else? We have Burger Man who has so much territory it's impossible to know which duchies he owns. Although, there's a penalty for having more than two. That helps a little bit. Although, which duchy is which, dang it. Alright, more man arms. That's getting upgraded. Where's the other... Men arms, or which is the other duchy? Way down here. I do kind of have one thing going for me, though, if I'm smart about how I manage it. Because it can cause problems, but having a third duchy can give me quite notable advantage. I am just one of them, I'm not even getting a duchy building. It's a bit of a problem, which hopefully will be rectified in short time. If I can get away with that, I seriously doubt I can get away with a fourth, but that would be amazing if I could. I'm not sighing because of the land. I'm sighing because some people are just incredibly poor plotters. Uh, they just have very little intrigue, I guess. Uh, yeah. That incredible among other, intrigue. Among other things, huh? Yes. How do I go about mo moving my um, capital? Oh. Yeah, you, you right, just so select you click on the county. Yeah, just select the county one as your capital, and there'll be two crown icons 
I believe on by the name on the bottom left of that box. Mm -hmm. I yeah, it's hard for actually. I should select my own territory. That would help a bit. Preferably one I own because I'm selected vassals and another vassals. Dang it, I have too much territory. Dang it, give me a domain that I control. Okay. Yeah, if, if you select a county, you have to make sure you actually own it. There'll be a gray crown for the holding, and then there'll be another kind of yellowish one with an arrow next to it. That button will allow you to convert it into your realm capital. It's the button next to the name of the county. Or the name of the holding. Yep, it should be automatic, although I don't know the main benefits outside of, like, just it being more defensible if you position it properly. It will get more gold, that domain, but that only really matters if it's more developed in your current realm, I guess. Or percentage bonus and income bonus kind of thing. I don't know the other benefits of the realm capital besides, of course, just making it... Mostly just placement. Yeah, placement for wars, ideally. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Well, the capital I had before is now owned by somebody else. And I had built it up. That's just why I wanted to move there. Well, you could, in theory, revoke that claim. It might take a little bit of work. I just don't know which county it was. Oh, it's... Beatrice, or Beatrice, is it, in Transylvania? Yeah, that's where it was, yeah. Yeah, so far your Duchess is imprisoned by you, so you could, in theory, revoke that claim. And if you have... Yeah, if you have the claim already, you won't get any tyranny, and since they're imprisoned by you, they're very likely to agree to it. You'll have to take a look, and this is a good opportunity to check, at least. Although the personality traits they have will influence how likely they are to agree to it. And hello there, Terrorizer. Welcome to the stream. We are about a hundred years away from the end of this campaign, although it is sadly going incredibly slow as I think there's so much going on in the background that people's PCs can't handle the load. And we are using the beta multiplayer patch to kind of help keep it stabilized. And a consequence of that is it makes the loading time initially jumping in incredibly long. But it has been working tremendously well as far as keeping desyncs at bay. It's just a very slow progress though. Alright, I was mute there a moment. Did you get a chance to take a look on how likely you could revoke that title? Technically, I can revoke your title. Yeah, she's uh, she's not going to give it up. She hates me. She's in prison by me now. Yeah. She may hate you, but because she's in prison, that also makes it more likely. But the personality traits are probably why. Just mouse over the acceptance number to see what exactly is causing those modifiers. And if it's really close, you could, in theory, bribe her or do something else to make it more likely for it to agree, but it sadly looks like you don't have that claim. You lost an inheritance, I believe, or some other thing. Which means you're going to get a bunch of tyranny if you do revoke it. So you would have to get your priest to fabricate a claim quickly to at least help in that process. And if I remember correctly, you had an incredibly good priest, I think. Uh, yeah, they they died or whatever. Nah, uh, that's a shame. Although, if, with the innovation, I don't know if you just naturally got that innovation to increase your fabricate claims, but it it in theory shouldn't take too long. Yeah, the land grants you have unlocked, so that should greatly increase the speed to fabricate that claim, at least. 
It's just dependent on how effective their learning is to help speed that along. All right, everyone's in. I hope we're just about ready to go then. And we are started. Like I said, Kitty, you make sure you click on the rally point to that's not on the peasants. Well, I'm getting a lot of opinion for these parties. I just gotta be careful of getting fat. There we go. That will help improve my sh upgrades. Mm. Here, well, Friend. Grant. Can you give me a small hand? Who are you asking? asking? Freeze, yeah. What were you asking there again? I can't. Uh, Freeze, yeah. I'm asking some help against Bohemia. I'm gonna deal with this thing right now. Uh, let's see. I don't even think I'm able to help you, though, am I? Let me see. Well, I have the means to join your war, I guess. I think I do. I just gotta make sure right what players select it. Uh, never mind, won't let me join. Because they're not of a hostile religion or anything. I'll try and send you some money at least to get you out of that deficit though. Your, your attitude demonstrates your greatness. I don't really want to do this, but considering he was just a latecomer, that makes... Kind of helps him out at least. Lorellian, are we going after any of the big blobs here? Thank you very much, sir. I will return the favor. Good, that helps there. No sign self. That's going to be important for later. But I still got a lot of time left in my life. I want a good male heir. If I could find one. Well, as much as I would love you, I need to somehow get you in my court. Okay, maybe I could do it that way. It just won't get raised by me, it's the only problem. I will lose stress, although... Is that a good height? 
100% they'll accept, but... Is that a good idea? My prowess isn't that significantly higher. As silly as it sounds. No risk of injury. Oh, I lost, boo. It just didn't give me good options despite my higher prowess, which is annoying. Because apparently their options were already high chance and there was only two traits, dang it. Oh, time to lose some weight, I guess. This is what I was afraid of from doing all these feasts. But at least now I'll know when I die, I suppose, or at least get pretty close. I just need my vassals to like me enough for absolute crown sortie, which I kind of can do already. If only temporarily. Well, that's convenient. Now, I might regret this. I gotta watch this carefully. Which, they're helping improve my opinion quite significantly. And now, I should be able to just pick an heir. Hmm, I just had an idea, but I don't know if it's possible. You know, this is a, possibly a terrible idea, but can I make you my heir? That's what I'm honestly wondering. Is this a good idea? This... Apparently. Interesting. Why do I only have two choices for succession? I thought I had a lot more choices before. I am really confused. Why is this designate heir only limiting me to two people? I should be able to literally pick anyone I want, right? I can't even pick my other children. And, oh, they're not in my court. Is that why? I don't know if that solved the problem or not. Apparently not. I am really confused by this. I figured designating a friggin' air would be a little more effective than this. I don't know what the criteria is. 
Lost obese, that's good. I think I'll leave that be for a little while. Increased crab already did literally nothing for me, I think. And I'm not liking it one bit, dang it. I was hoping for a lot more choices. Even if I couldn't pick my grandson or grandchildren. Uh, I guess I can't cheat the system, maybe. Although, what happens if I go Ultimate Genter? It's not going to tell me. I don't know what to make of this. I'm a little confused, but I'm assuming the reason I can't pick an heir is because it only can go to my direct children. My actual sons and daughters were always kind of hoping maybe I could designate uh, grand grandchildren or something. And I'm pretty much good on stress at the moment. I'll decline that. So Absolute Crown Authority is doing me no value, at least with what I want it to be, sadly. I thought I could get something really good out of that. Oh well. Live and learn, I guess. Although it's still extra income and I can drop it easily enough to make the vassals like oh me. Oh my goodness, this heifer is gonna take over again she's fighting me for the throne all right let me send you some money for mercenaries then well this is a different woman it looks like too no it's just why well, it's agna i'm sending you money there although you have eight thousand troops yeah they kind of have eight thousand troops on you i don't think i can get that alliance Uh, and you let her out of prison too, I take it, or was this someone else? Uh, she got out, I don't know. Yeah, sadly the mercenaries are not going to be very helpful, I think, since they only give you like a thousand troops each. Right. Uh, I can't get an alliance or anything of the sort. Which is annoying. Oh, my health is still poor. What can I do, though? I don't know what I can do, honestly. If I'm completely honest. If only I knew about that alliance offer, I could have at least get that alliance to join. Is there anyone that can friggin' give an alliance? Probably not. Hey! Hello? Yes? So, about this, uh... Joining Car uh, Carpathia and attacking Sacrophysia? Hmm. 
I guess there's no comment on that. Or oh, mouse is not here anyway. I guess not. So you're a good child, but... What? <laughs> you're not out of it yet, at least, Key. Let me keep giving you gold, I guess. Add some mercenaries, although I don't know how, where the mercenaries will spawn, because they normally always spawn on your realm capital. Which oh you currently. Oh god. Oh, what? Sorry, just a moment. Say what? I'm still sending you money there, kitty, so we'll see if we can get your mercenaries. Sadly, I cannot see what's going on down there. Accept my gold offer, dang kitty. I can't send you more until you keep accepting. Are you there, kitty? Don't hear you if you are there. Oh yeah, sorry. Kind of difficult to help you if you're not responding. She has like 10,000 troops. Yeah, what kind of men at arms do they have, though? Footmen, skirmishers, lots of bowmen, basically. And they have mercenaries, too. That's part of the reason. Sadly, there's nothing I can really do there because I have no alliance. Yeah, and nobody need needs marriage except for myself, I guess. Well, all my children wouldn't give an alliance is a bit of a problem too, or grandchildren. I don't even, I don't even know if you get an alliance with my grandchildren, even if I were to give, get you an alliance with them.
I don't know what to do there because I don't even know if this gives an alliance is a bit of a problem. Let alone 4,000 troops is probably not that helpful. Yeah, sadly I don't think there's anything I can do for a time be there besides give you gold. And again, mercenaries are not very helpful with only a thousand troops that they provide. Right, right. No worries, I think she's gonna grab it up again. Yeah, and I hear <laughs> Genja in the background, dang you. I'll have to get, uh, get busy working trying to take it back. Yep, just get building up, get your alliances settled. Because this is going to be a harder ruler to overthrow than the, the weakened one. Which is why I said before to try and get them on your good side. Befriend them, get hooks on them. Lots of little things so hopefully they don't rebel against you. Or at least those who are allied with them maybe. Alright, let's continue upgrading, because I am lacking that at the moment. Slightly. And they are Polish, they can get full tech now. And with that said, where is Pollock? Let's get this duchy in my sway. I will help solve this issue a little bit. And I apologize for stealing your power. Let's... Oh, you already still love me, apparently. Well, I'm fine with that, then. Even with the absolute crown authority. I could call a hunt there, get a little prestige, reduce the stress further. And now I have another duchy to my name. We're just going to have to develop this quickly. And do I get another military academy or not? Alright, Duke does not like me, apparently. And now he likes me even well, less. Well, she had a 75% score on me, but I took her capital. Okay. And drop back down. You should be seriously looking for an alliance of some kind, dang it. You just have to be quick about it. Because you can calm into this war. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I don't know if it's possible, but you could try for a white piece if they're willing to accept. I think you need to be in the positive for that, though. I'm sending you more money to help pay the bills. Because if you're lucky, their troops might start to starve, and then maybe you can do something with that. If they start taking attrition damage, if you can keep your troops replenished.
what to do, what to do. All right, send you one more little bit of payment to help with the funds. All right, thank you. Yeah, in theory, you, you like a thousand gold. I don't let's worry about that later. If you can starve out their troops and fight in defensive territory, you could win the battle with them only being a thousand troops on, up on you. You just need a good martial soldier. Replenish your troops, which you're getting 70 men in arms for each one a month. So try and replenish them, ideally, if you can. In fact, you're almost equal to them if you can build up your troops. It's just a matter of where you fight that might decide it. And your marshal. Or your general, rather. Even more so if they're starving, because the AI may be pretty bad at managing supply, unless they fall back. The only way you can replenish your troops though is in your own territory, so be careful. Actually, I think I might just move a small portion of my army to try and get a little fission. Since I was kind of contemplating just Going to war with Mouse, not me? seriously, but, oh, yeah. Oh, Draskovich. Yep. I have claims on half of northern Croatia now, so I'm halfway there. You mean Bohemia? But Yeah, Bohemia. We're... Well, no, Bohemia, but I also have half of those Croatian lands. Oh, there. that. Okay, excellent. So we can stop uh, Bergerman. So I'm oh. half but done with both of them, so just letting oh. you know. Right now, oh. I'm helping them go to war with Italy if you guys want to join. We're trying to weaken the uh, the Nishian religion. Nicians. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm going back to the other chat for the ah. war. I do okay. love when a plot is exposed and you still have 95% success and secrecy. Yeah, that happens with one of my... Well, yeah, 95%, but... For me, it was exposed, and I still k eventually killed the person. Got, got built up to 95%, but probably a little excessive with the amount of people I bribed. Sometimes you just gotta bribe people. And in all honesty, all those bribes and murders probably didn't really help me, but learning experience for next time, maybe. Or next campaign. Okay, you're only 300 troops below him, Kitty, so supply and the terrain is going to be important. I'm just. These 2,000 troops next to you are mine. So I'm going to use them just to try and give you a little idea of what to do. And if I can find an army, that might help. But I would recommend replenishing your troops so maybe you can go after an army, kitty. Okay. Which means just stay in your own territory that you either conquered or is your own territory. Um, I don't see anything here, so where are they? Are they up top left, right? Yeah, they're Where? in the direction you're going there. Straight okay. ahead. Yeah. So, I'm just going to have a look at them and try and judge how you can fight them in that case. I'll try and help you out the best I can. But ideally, I'm just going to keep an eye on their troop count for Sejours. And keep in mind, you can raise more troops. I think you can do that too. Gosh. And just have them merge with yours. You probably should do that because you are missing about a thousand troops at the moment. <laughs> I never thought that I'd actually live long enough to do <laughs> This is ridiculous. <laughs> My 64-year-old empress I see is that. now married to a 16-year-old. 
<laughs> oh god. He's gonna be traumatized for life. Ah, oh, well. Didn't think I'd live long enough for that, but nope, still feeling fine. Oh, really? You have the advantage so far. You could, in theory, go for a white piece, and that, that'll that give you 10 years breathing room, kitty. I don't know how likely they yeah. will accept, though. It says they'll, they'll accept. So you can just do that now, and then prepare for 10 years to for another uprising from them. Or you can, at least they'll give you time to make them like you. But you should seriously get... Okay, I guess you did it. Okay, you avert disaster, which was looking grim for you, but congrats on that, kitty. Even if I may have funded your dang war. Yeah, you did. Without uh, the help of that, I would have definitely lost. You have 10 years, put it to good use, and fix your domain limit problem. Because that's part of the reason why your vassals... Well, I think she would still uprise against you regardless, but you have 10 years to prepare. Assuming you live that long, being 78. Sadly, it looks like Designate, designate Heir was not really worth it. But it looks like my grandson's gonna get the title, which I'm kind of fine with. In all honesty. So I don't need Designate Heir in that case. I just expected more out of designating my heir a little bit. If I'm completely honest. And I can upgrade you, right? Just missing two gold. Easily solved, but... Gonna have to be mindful that war, conflict is inevitable. Oh, I got no gold. I wonder when the, I get the cash in that case. I'm just watching. There we go. So half, halfway through a year or the month, rather. I will sway you because I might as well. Yeah, you're someone I stole territory from. That would explain that. I think what I could do is invite my son into my court. And then maybe I can grant him a title that way. Question is what title would I grant him? And hopefully it helps protect him a little bit too. All right. All the innovations are almost done. I don't know what to, to where to go from here, if I'm honest. No, your ruler's dead. The clock's on you now. I don't think you can trust that ten, ten year truce. All right, let me get something going on here, dang it. And you're a, you, I should at least be able to give him a alliance, right? <sighs> it doesn't honestly look like I can.
Okay. Oh, that's why, is it? You need more children, apparently. Hmm. Is there anyone genius? At least to help train you, I guess. All these are bad. Well, I'm not really happy with, honestly. Alright, Kitty, are you still there? What was that? Yeah, yes. your, your ruler died. I hope you're getting ready for another possible uprising, dang it. Yes, I'm trying to. Yep, I'll s just keep an eye on it. I'll help you. I'll send you more money so you can get mercenaries at the rate, dang it. Um, oh. Yes. Um, I was kind of busy. I didn't check how much money did you send me, but I'm willing to pay. Uh, it was, I think it was around 400, 500 if I had to guess. Well, I'm getting some, um, loans from the Pope and I have no intent of paying back him, so I can pay you back. Don't worry about it there for now. That was more to get you back on your feet with the AI already screwing things over, maybe. At first, it was like, seems to be a hard battle because it's a very powerful vessel. But now, things have changed. <laughs> I stripped him from his entire kingdom. I might as well try and milk the most I can out of this ruler, I guess. Oh, a beast again? Well, we know what we're doing there. Uh... Where is the option to lose weight, though? Although I have iron... Is that be... Maybe is iron con constitutions negated, if I had to guess? Although, why do I not see an option for that? Hmm... And when can I have another feast? One more year, okay, that'll help with stress a little bit. And continue building, I guess. Like, is there really any point to me to go to war? I could just fund all these war efforts, honestly. Because again, I don't really see much incentive to fight anything outside roleplay reasons, which I don't have much roleplay reasons is a bit of a problem. This was more to be more a learning experience for me, and I could try still to go for the Black Sea. Although the big problem is all the alliances, maybe, because as soon as I declare war on anyone, you know. Yeah, all these alliances, unless I do the same thing and just get a million different alliances. So, that might be. Bye -bye. Which makes going to war very... Unfavorable anyway, just because everyone's allying with everyone else at the moment. Send you more money there, kitty.
And if only I noticed that alliance offer, although it's a shame I can't just reinstate that alliance when it's the, this, uh, when it's not accepted. But I think that's to avoid AI spamming, if I'm honest. If I had to guess. Hmm. I can't divorce them at the moment. So I'm going to be stuck with one daughter there. As the heir. Who I'm not even raising at the moment, which is... A little... A little unfortunate, although I can revoke, actually. Who would be a good, uh, well, obviously a genius. And let's get my future heir. Possibly. Huh. Okay, so it's weird I have to do multiple steps for that, but I'll go with it. And that'll help a little bit, because yeah, apparently you were going for a trade I don't want. But let's see, you're charming. Might as well go diplomacy, I suppose. I don't know if... Well, it gives me a lot of alliances, potentially, or at least encourages a lot of alliances. You are studying. Let's get you on the stewardship train, too. Oh, no. Oh, no, my nephew's taken prisoner. Ooh, bold. They're sadly losing that war, it seems. And I don't think, let's see, I'm going to live a ma maybe another five, ten years if I'm lucky. We'll see. You really need to get rid of those duchies there, Kia. Yeah, and your husband sadly is not very good on the stats to try and increase that further. Hmm. Even even though they're intelligent. I really need to get some kind of alliance, dang it. It's impossible to do right now. At least not that I can see. I was kind of contemplating seeing if my heir could get an alliance with them. But it doesn't want to tell me or show me that either. The problem with that. Okay, so I need cranes. Let me get the most out of my stewardship while I can. Since I pretty much built as many towns and temples as I can, the only thing I don't know is if I actually want to put buildings in them. The only thing I'm a little uncertain of. Someone wants to murder my knight. I don't like it. I will not allow this, if at all possible.
Oh, now I can lose weight, okay. If I can break it down, that'll help a little bit with my obeseness or health. I don't care about the stress as much. For the moment. Although, how's my development coming along? I haven't really changed that all that much in a while. Forty-six development in the capital, that seems decent. And you're basically getting plus one development a month because of my capital. Quite significant increase, if I do say so. How are things looking on your end there, kitty, with the possible uprisings? Uh, it's looking fine so far. I'm trying to make sure... I still hear freaking Klee. Yes, she's in the background, talking too much. I notice. I'm trying to get my control up in different areas as quickly as possible. Is is using the... Your marshal is the is only way? Yeah, the marshal is the most direct way, but of course having structures there... It helps increase it, the realm as a whole that way without you having to employ the marshal. But that's not going to help you with your vassals uprising, but it will give you more money and troops at least. Like your realm capital at the moment is just going to naturally get to 100 without a marshal, so I don't think you have to worry about that. Oop, lost my yeah, I'm position. starting with the ones that are really low. And working my way up. But so yeah. far, everybody seems to be happy. The few that I had that weren't happy, they're happy now. All right, make sure you got feasts going. Make sure you're swaying the ones that are most problematic or most likely to rebel. So it weakens their power and things like that. And if you can get hooks by making your spy master look for secrets, that could help too. But it does have the risk of them. Not helping in deal with any plots that might be against you. There are lots of little things you could do to help manage. And of course, don't forget to consider gifting them gold if you think it'll put it over the top to them not rebelling. But again, keep in mind their personality traits. That will influence more if they'll rebel or not. Especially those that are ambitious. Feast will be in another month. Just a question if I want to do that or not just yet, because I don't want the obeseness, but I want to keep vassals happy. Which isn't really difficult, I guess. Everyone loves me at the moment. And if anything, I should I do have alliances. Maybe I could join Mouse in a possible war. I just don't like the complication of, well, Lord Walker is no longer, is a new ruler, but as soon as I go to war, people are going to be rushing, rushing to get all alliances with him, or he's going to go plead. There's this very, and if I do any drastic war, it's going to be a mess, I fear. Also, I could get more men in arms, I should seriously consider that. Which ones do I get? Well, first let's upgrade my current men arms. That might be good. Oop, we lost Loralian there. All right, let's build these up. Get our men arms. To ideally max possible power. Ooh, Master Hunter, nice. Oop, my prowess sucks. 
Is anyone surprised? Although I kind of thought there was a martial trait that, or at least a legacy that, or maybe they changed that, that allowed me to no longer lose prowess in old age. I guess that's not true anymore. And I am getting relatively close to gain my next legacy, well, a thousand more. That's not really close. I'm curious. That was probably replaced, wasn't it? Increases skills with age, and oh, there it is. No prowess loss from age. Okay. That would be something really nice there for a martial focus, but everyone likes their traits. Can you blame them? Make everyone as genius as possible. Sadly, you're going to be pretty old by the time you succeed me. And you're not... Wait, are you? I No, you're not my... Uh, there we go, that looks better. 31 years, that's much better, dang it. Sadly, they're only hail, which I would have liked them to. I really would have liked them to basically been Herculean or at least robust. That would have been really nice, but I have an idea what I can do here. Can I invite you to my court once you're of age? As ridiculous as that may sound, I would have to survive six more years. Unless somehow my heir is able to influence you. But yeah. I think it's safe to say the Nicians, or Ni yeah, the Nicians there, if I go to war with any of them, they're all gonna bum rush, is what I'm suspecting is gonna be going on. Even if Lord Walker is vulnerable now. It's only if he literally can't get a license due to not having children, which he currently doesn't. He has siblings, I, but I think that would still give him alliances. There is possibility. It's just, again, a question, is it really worth it? Because that's just going, to just going to stir up a hornet's nest as soon as I declare that war. It's the perfect time to strike, but that's the only thing making me hesitant and seriously considering it because we kind of know they're all going to buddy up with each other, even if I were to go to war by myself. Hmm. It is mighty tempting, but that's something I need to seriously think on for the next campaign. How to justify going to war, because this is Fable's territory too, and not really Lord Walker's. We're screwing over Fable, which I would be fine if it was just Lord Walker's territory I was taking. But I don't know how much territory actually has up there at the same time. That's just looking at a glance, isn't it? He owns everything up there, I think. Hard to really say, dang. Hard to say, dang it. Apparently he has the Kingdom of Egypt, too. Which is down there. Oh. Kingdom of Seporcia. That's what I'm looking at. Although I don't think he has any counties up there, does he? That might change that dynamic a little bit. I'm just trying to understand the consequences. I don't want to screw over fables if I can help it, but... If he has no terror, actual... If it's just vassals, that's a little more bearable. One claim there, title... What else? He has a duchy. 
And of course, my ruler is probably going to die pretty soon too, which makes that a little tricky because this would be a drawn out war at the same time. Lots of little dynamics here. But I don't feel so bad about screwing over Fables if I were to go to war now. It's just justifying the option or the justifying that attempt. Hmm. I kind of like the idea more just going to war by myself there to get some good combat experience rather than dragging people into that war. But of course then I'm going to be accused. Unless they call allies of just turtling and then overwhelming them. There's a lot of negatives to whatever I do regarding a war. I just... I'm trying to think for the right justification. Because part of it, there's not really a lot of incentives to go to wars with counties or even duchies. Arguably. Although, Duchy meets my criteria potentially reaching the Black Sea, though. Look what happened here. I don't think my ruler is going to live long enough to be able to justify a drawn out war is the problem. Only downside. And hopefully, yeah, you're gaining prestige. That will help you for your future reign. Although you're not very good at intrigue. Only downside there. Vassals will love you, though, at least when you take over. Yeah, we're just waiting for Laurelian to reconnect. Otherwise, this is at the very least, this is a good opportunity for you to get marriages or everything you need to do in the background, kitty. So feel free to use this time as you need to. Do you see the map? Say what? Do you see what I did? I went to war with Croatia and I won. Congrats. Especially oh, look. now. Look at the map. Look at uh, north of Croatia where Crimea is. Oh, so you just took that territory. Yeah. What the hell? Someone else is clear warning me. Oh, that's a burger. A burger clear warning you. Oh, uh, God. I'm asking you to accept my, uh, my money. They're all going to war against you, Lord Walker, because you have no alliances. How dare they? <laughs> a lot more complicated than that. Fabled was chickening out. Anyway, I yeah, uh, talked to... Yeah, being a bitch. <laughs> yeah, he's just... Winslow, you gotta pay up, though. I want that money. I'm paying it right now, but the game's paused. Yeah, you have to wait till it's unpaused before oh, you see the I offer. Know. Well, that was an interesting turn of events. It would have been more fun just to go to war, but... Oh, well. That's something I really... I think that's what I'm going to decide for next time. Just be a soldier, just fighting wars for my liege as opposed to being the liege. Which means I should help out Kitty tremendously. And then, at least that way, I don't have to worry about screwing people over because that's more on Kitty. I think I like that idea more. It gives me the opportunity to learn more about the combat a little bit. Because again, I was really reluctant initially to take this territory because it was screwed, potentially screwed over Fable. This is supposed to be fun even though we are fight at the point where we're all just going to fight against each other. I'm just trying to figure out in my head where's the best middle ground to have that PvP but not really screw people over. And I think that might be an option for next campaign. I get to baby step Kitty through 
everything, and I will be the main marshal fighting on the front lines. I like this idea, since I think I learned all I need to about managing the Empire itself. I just need to learn about the little nuances like taking duchies back. And I do honestly wonder if I could invite you to court when you are of age. And then I can give a title to you and maybe, as foolish as it sounds, maybe I can get that territory, get the duchy. And we can make progress finally at long last. I do honestly wonder if it works like that. Well, let's get some more men arms. Let's get actually get my duchies building because that's going to be important. Lorelli is in. And let's upgrade. I just hmm. This duchy could serve my purpose. Actually. Huh. So, Lord Walker is just sacrificing his territory. Alright, we're going again, Kitty. Yep. Alright, let's get some money there. Let's get some tier. Let's get ourselves ready then. I just wish I knew where my rally points were. Since we got a good handful of them. I was tipped off at a possible conflict happening here pretty soon, but at the moment there's no claim, but they can declare holy war, I imagine, pretty soon. And I'm going to need a lot of money, especially if my ruler dies. But that will help slow down that process in at least a tiny bit. I think the most important thing I could do is just get some money right now. <clears throat> and I do have a... well, let's see. Right now... who is, who is this? Oh, just a random person that's been imprisoned. Okay. Where would they likely attack from? Well, let's focus on where the realm capital is. They could come here, so... Main line of engagement will be in this area. And I want a rally point up the top. Hmm. Make them like me as much as possible because I do not want to deal with uprisings in this the foreseeable future. And I seriously doubt I can change obligations. Which is fine. You have money, let's blackmail you. Oh, I can't. Huh. 
Huh. Interesting. Oh, it's probably... Did I already blackmail him? Is that why? I'm assuming that's why. Otherwise, let's get some more men-at-arms. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we'll stick with these two alliances for now, I guess. Although, what's probably going to happen is, well, Duke of Bacon's not going to be here. And there's no way I can get an alliance with them either, just because of my current predicament. So what are you looking at? At troops. Just a little bit of everything, basically. Is what it seems. And when can I get more money from the Pope? That's going to be important here. Another year, basically. Alright, let's just try and maximize my income then. I got some good development going on here. Now let's just prepare. Assuming that's actually true. Did you just out yourself? Oh, oh no, okay then. I am not against that. Although, they're not going to be happy about it. We're going to have to be cautious. Very cautious. Who am I swaying currently? Yeah, I'll let you sw I'll, I'll let you be swayed at least once. We'll prepare for anything here. And then jump over while I can feast. That helps solve both my problems and my stress. Now, what do my rally points look like? Actions created against me. Interesting. What's prompting these? Oh, all the extra territory that was just gained by Winslow. Now, who owns these realms? Okay, Winslow. If I could de demand the Count's conversion, that would help some. So, who's at war with who? You're winning the war and they're about to lose the war. It's gonna take a while to convert religions though, but... Why am I getting a message about Holy Order? Oh, that's because... My vassals probably did that? Or the Holy Order that's owned by my vassals, I'm assuming, maybe? I don't know what exactly just happened there. If I'm completely honest. I was told conflict was possible, and 
It'll be good to get into the thick of it, although it looks like we might get ourselves sandwiched a bit. Might. Just gotta watch for the military possibilities. Let's at least increase the security of these fortifications, if only slightly. Ooh, someone's an adulterer. It wasn't me who exposed them. But they lose a little bit of sway now, if nothing else. I am obese again. That can be solved. Hopefully quickly. And, oh, trying to lose weight. That's what that is. And apparently my health is still fine. When the heck... Oh, re reinfiguration. Oh, that's what triggered it. Okay. I might actually get the whole body in that case. Where it's a good idea remains to be seen, but... Hmm. Time to prepare. If I need to prepare. Since all I really need is a war for this duchy here. And I fulfill my goal. Although, it doesn't look like I can actually do that. I'll just have to look into possibilities. Yeah, Kiev will solve that problem. Just means war will eventually be declared. And I rather would like to do that by myself, but I'm not going to get that convenience in my or luxury. Since I do have the overwhelming power after all, potentially. And I'm wondering if you can... I, want, I would love to get you in my court. <laughs> Factions disbanding. Followers of the cat, dang it. I am not a fan of that. Sadly, I'm in a very bad channel because there's no commentary going on here. But, at least I can be left to my own thoughts. Everything's still looking good on your end, kitty? Yes, so far it looks fine. Alright, that's good to hear, because from what I heard, I might get dragged into a war, or a war might be called on me at some point soon. Oh, Lorelian. Okay, I was wondering why that option was available. Yeah, I don't have the duchy there. Not a whole lot I can do with that. And actually, let me approve the men at arms. Well, that could complicate Burger's attempts. We'll see what happens. We will see. Didn't I have you studying diplomacy already? A little confused there, but... I'll go with it.
And I don't think I'm going to get my extra thousand renown anytime soon. Oops, that was the wrong tree. Or the wrong button to click. But let's max out the man arms. Sway is done there. Although, Vassal still love me at the moment. I think we're prime for my succession. We just gotta make sure my heir is able to manage this, because they currently have three counties of their own. Alright, so who is this person? We'll save you because that's kind of my focus. Oh, they are not swayed. Oh, and I gained stress because of that. Alright. They're still sort of happy with me. And I wasn't honestly expecting to get basically the healthy, but I will take it. And am I actually able to get money from the Pope now? Not until, well, it is February. I hate to break it to you. Which means more men at arms. And then I can get money for him for more men at arms. And we'll be pretty much maxed out. Pretty damn close to maxed out. I just need to create a new men at arms squad. More adulters. No, not my granddaughter, damn it. Why does my bloodline have to be so tainted in a game all about cheating and incest and god knows what else, huh? I wish there was a way I could split up these bombards, siege weapons, when I have them raised, but I don't think I'm able to, am I? Although this is a good opportunity to experiment with it a bit. I think that might be a something I'll do. I'll just raise my men arms. I want to get rid of all but my bombards. Ideally. And just see if it's possible I can actually split these cursed armies. I would love to know if it's possible to split them, because can you imagine how helpful that would be for sieging settlements if I could figure that out? Is it possible it does not look like it at a glance, sadly? Because a hundred bombards seems like massive overkill a little bit in a single squad where I would just love nothing more than to just have them split up to go to war with multiple settlements at once, especially when things going well, dang it. That's what annoys me the most. Ooh, Celis, there's a trait I haven't gotten or seen in at all. So Celis or Brave. I'm just biased to Brave, although he's, that probably doesn't work well with you if I'm honest. I just like the idea of Brave, since I want to try and be more martial focused with my rulers. Especially if I'm if I follow through with what my next uh, campaign might be. Oh, we're going at super slow speed, too. Allied with France. Interesting. Although France is having a bit of an uprising at the moment. Which shouldn't really affect their troops. What? Trying to kill me? Why? You, you actually like me too, so why the heck do you want to try and murder me? I'm completely flat-footed by that. 
revelation. But yeah. I think Polani is in good shape. I should seriously consider that duchy, but it's going to be such an anti... Well, unless other empires get dragged into it, it's going to be interesting, to say the least. Ooh! Actually, I actually have a great-grandson now. I don't want to boot my children out, but I don't have a lot of time. I'll remove them, sadly. I hope they got some decent training from me. Hello. Hello. What can we do for you? I just wanted a change of scenery. Yeah, it's pretty ah, quiet. Great. Yeah, it's pretty quiet here. Kitty's just so boring to talk to. Jeez. Feel free to smack okay. me down. Suck it. Well, I get to talk in here. <laughs> when we're in the bigger room, everybody's, you know, talking. You can't get a word in. Yeah, sadly being a small channel, it does suck for my stream a little bit, because I'm sure I'm probably the most boring thing, and I'm hosting a damn stream. But oh well. <laughs> but otherwise, everything's prospering here. How are things looking in Italy at the moment? Uh, stable, finally. I mean, it was pretty bad for a while. Yeah, uh, you can blame us Catholics for that. Yeah, yeah, kind of can. Yeah, the nerve of us trying to rescue our Pope from the tyranny that is your religion. No, no, the Pope is happier than he's ever been before. I'm sure... If you asked him, he would have a completely different story, but he is a dwarf, so he is worthy of our respect. Being the ever so infamous dwarf pope. Now, what men at arms should I get, is an honest question. Oh, oh, you're sneaky. What a what are, you, what are you accusing me of now? I just noticed you taking all this area here on the side of me. No, that was Winslow's doing, my vassal. He basically, I guess, did a trade with Lord Walker for that territory. There was no actual war, I think. Ah. Uh. But my criteria, my goal to reach the Black Sea is sort of complete. It's just not connected at the moment, unless you want to be my vassal, kitty. Eh, that's maybe, what you want. I don't know, maybe you should get free from your ruler, even though I've had alliances with Mouse for all this game session. Because I never trusted the, the Western Roman Empire, and even though they're split, or split, I still don't trust them a little bit. It was only an alliance of convenience before when the Cats uprising began, the damn felines. Ooh, Burger's having an uprising here, but don't know how difficult that would be. Interesting. Burger's gonna have a bit of difficulty. Uh, what do you mean by multi-open there, by a Kraken? We, we do have a password if you're referring to join the server, but anyone's kind of welcome in to joining us. Provide that this timeline, or the, when we schedule for our sessions, is at least you're, if you're able to join us for that time, was it? 
7 to 10 30 eastern american time i believe is when we normally host on tuesdays and thursdays but maybe i am misunderstanding your question sorry i was deaf in a moment if you were or anyone was trying to reach me no i was just saying i just noticed one of my uh sons died in captivity they got imprisoned huh yeah i don't know it was before i took over the character i guess probably oh my god at this rate i think my ruler might make it to 90 maybe even 100 years i wonder if that's possible I have a 16-year-old son that needs a wife. Well, I could probably get them a marriage offer, but sadly none of them would give an alliance is a problem. And I was wondering if it was possible for you to get an alliance with my heir, but it doesn't want to show me that I caused a problem on my end. Otherwise, I would offer an alliance with one of my grandchildren. No, that's not what I want, dang it. This is really complicated to try and marry people that I would not benefit from. Uh, we are... Uh, we're, we are basically a hundred years away from this campaign, but anyone's able to join now, I could even... If you could give me a moment, I could copy and paste the Discord yes, channel for you. These days, my daughter has expressed unprovoked anger against me. She's become my rival. Dun dun dun. I don't know what happened. I just married the heifer off. I guess she didn't want to be married. No clue, you probably wronged or stole claims or titles. No, I wouldn't do that. But yeah, just give me a minute there, I'll copy and paste the Discord link. There will be another game, because sadly with people disconnecting, and we're currently using the beta multiplayer patch, the peep, it does take a lot of time for people to reconnect. And this is Feej. Apparently, I get an alliance here. For God's sake, I was trying to look for alliances all this time. Why do I get an alliance now? This was something I was trying to figure out, dang it, for helping out Kitty, who's been having trouble, but... Dang it. Let me get that Discord link for you. I have it on my YouTube channels, but I'm trying to go to them quickly. And I'll have to spend my money in a moment, but I think we're relatively safe at this amount. Oh, I will be able to pay you back soon. No, you're not. I probably gave you 10,000 gold at this point. I'm lying, no way. by the way. I'm probably over-exaggerating. Yes, big time. Yeah, probably 100,000 you owe me. All right, there's the Discord link I just posted now. The only downside is you cannot talk in our voice comms until they give you permission, but you should be able to chat just find the general chat. We do our sessions on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7.30, or no, 7 o'clock Eastern American Time, and we go until 10.30 American Time Eastern, which would be about an hour, ideally. Thankfully, everything's been going really well. I doubt we're going to reach 100 years or 1450 by the end of this session, though. It's just a question of what land is there to take besides you being a vassal of someone, because as you can see, everyone's already kind of taken everything. At least noteworthy. And I'm trying to remember if there was a player down here, but they didn't make it in Tordello. I honestly can't remember. Tart was down here in Tart Herd, which I guess is what he renamed it to, but he's been 
he was having a lot of PC issues, and I don't think he's going to be joining us anymore, sadly, at least in this campaign. And there was a threat of Burger Man going to war against me, but right now, he's in a bit of trouble. Because Italy is attacking him too, apparently. For what region? Oh, really? I honestly wonder the value of going to war for a single county. Unless they surrender immediately, which apparently is not happening yet. I don't think I have to worry about Burger Man, hell. If I really want to be sadistic, I could just go to war with him now and take this duchy to meet my war goal or my campaign goal if I really wanted to. But I'm more interested in a proper fight to learn the military aspect a little bit more, especially such large scale. I like the idea of more learning. What's this bird of Thomas? Oh, prestige. I got so much prestige. I don't even know how to spend it all. I don't even need elective laws at this point because of the primogenitor. There's like very little I need to do with this prestige unless I want to go to war with everything. Which is the biggest conundrum I'm trying to figure out. What justification is there for me to go to war? Unless it's like a kingdom or something really prosperous. And with that said, there's so many feasts, but, well, I am still losing weight. So I should be okay accepting another invitation for maybe more opinion. Everything is nice and prosperous right now. The more time I can get out of my perfect, near-perfect ruler, the better. If only he was beautiful, that would be nice, but I seriously doubt it's possible I can... Get him to be a hundred, right? That would be absurd, but amazing value. And when do cranes finish? Three years. Actually, let me rush this. So that way I can start upgrading my economic so, structure. So, are you, uh, are you at war with anybody? Not at this time, no. Can you just build up your, your, your treasury and your armies? Because I'm going to call... France, Aquitaine, Germany, Carpathia, and the war with Sacrophysia. And Boom might join because he is my ally. And, and if he doesn't accept, he'll get like a negative bonus. I'm going to try to see if I can rope in uh, Lorelian. So, just let you know. Yeah, that I have to prepare for retaliation for your uh, warmongering, huh? What do you mean? Nothing. Nothing at all. What warmongering? I don't know what I said. They, you heard nothing. I, what warmongering? There is no warmongering. I said nothing. You're just hearing things. You're just going crazy again with your ruler. I'm not, this is the new ruler. I got murdered. Frizia murdered me. The nerve of them. You seriously? You're my liege. Are you are you being whispered in the ear by somebody? About what? I don't know. It it seems like a bunch of fishy stuff's going on. Nah. Yeah. No one wants to call me into wars and I guess everyone's afraid to go to war with me, I guess, even though I'm not I don't have a million alliances, which is interesting. Like everyone else around us. At least did. So I'm just going to prosper from it for now. Let's keep ourselves over a thousand gold just to help deal with funds. And with that said, I seriously should look how expensive is my military. 222, and that's only because, let's see, I'm collecting taxes at the moment. How much would that drop down if I go back into development? About six gold. I honestly wonder why I'm collecting taxes to begin with. It doesn't seem all that significant, despite how prosperous my a realm is. But that is something I really need to figure out is 
how to justify going to war, it could very well be a problem with the lack of content late game. Which is part of the reason why I stayed as Catholics, because those Crusades are a great way to at least get me in some damn wars with the other players. Especially, although now that I unlock the means to just strip go to war for our counties without Holy Wars and things like that, because I couldn't really do Holy Wars for the longest time either. And I'm trying to wonder what's causing... If I were, for some reason, to go to war with Germany, what's actually causing this? Oh, it's for the claims. It's not even for my own reasons, dang it. Just because I have... People have claims to the title. Hello, productivity? How are things going there? We're about 90 years into the campaign ending, and we're currently paused. For some reason. So far... Everything's just prosperous. And I'm getting free territory and I honestly wonder if my experiment, all my trial and efforts finally going to be worth something. Since it's three more years, you might be able to join my court? Might. And then maybe I could do something about getting this duchy back. That is something I honestly am curious about. Yeah, that's what the map looks like with the players uh, to expose and as you can see, Boom, Lord Walker has been busy taking territory of India. Someone is plotting the long con, needless to say. They're out in the middle of nowhere. I guess Boom doesn't want to be part of Europe anymore. But yeah, just so you know, down south here was supposed to be Tart. He has almost all this territory down here, but I don't think he's able to join us anymore due to... His PC causing too much issues, so ignore where you see Burger Man. This is actually more Tart's territory. Yep, that's pretty much the moral of the story. Because if I'm if I'm remembering correctly, Boom lost Bavaria in a crusade, and then Lorelian basically took over, and then Boom became a vassal of Lord Walker, and I guess now he's finally got a place to call his own. After God knows how long. And Fable is moved to Egypt. Due to mainly thanks to Lord Walker giving him all that territory essentially. And Duke of Bacon did have all of the Sweden up here. But apparently he's not here either. But Duke would be up here. Just to give you a better representation of what the map looks like. Tart is down here in Africa of the Eastern Roman Empire. Duke is up here, and I don't think anyone besides Argius has even touched England, or the British Isles at least. The starting condition of this campaign, we were all supposed to be in the eastern part of Europe. So basically, the Roman Empire and east of there. Burgerman start way up here north in Russia somewhere. I was Pol I was Eastern Poland. Fiege and Lord Walker were next to each other here in was it Croatia and Serbia. Mouse started as in Hungary, as well as Kitty here, who's a vassal. Lorelian was also in Poland and Winslow was also in Poland, which which kind of like is hilarious considering Lord Wa as soon as a a member of Lorelian's house got Bavaria. He just yeeted, yeeted himself out of, out of Poland and just took Bavaria for himself. It took me a little bit of time in figuring out, but I'm now gaining some good value out of his previous house. Because for a while, I had no feudal levies from him. And I might try and get more levies out of him pretty soon. Oh my god, extortionate. Holy crap. I think that was because I got an event that Increase the feudal taxes with no tyranny risk. So what I might do is increase the levies and reduce the extortionate down. Because that's probably not worth it. Considering I could get 4,000 troops raising oh, the levies. Yes? If I grant my uh, player heir a domain, will that affect him when I die? He still gets the capital and he will still that. be your heir 
it might put him slightly more at risk there of getting attacked or murdered. Just slightly though, but it's it's actually a good idea to give him his own county because he could build up prestige, which then makes he could build up his fame to make the vassals like him more, as opposed to a fresh ruler. Like, if you take a look at your current Distinguished uh, title, you're gaining plus 5 opinion for free for your current ruling. And if somehow you were to ever become a legend among a living legend, you're going to get plus 30 opinion from all your vassals, basically. It's worth giving them duchies and counties, but of course, they're going to be their own man. They're going to do things that you probably don't want them to do so it's risk reward they're more qualified to rule your realm when they, they succeed you but of course they're more likely to get into their own wars or trigger events they're definitely going to raise their own children which could have varied results if you don't take them as guardians yourself there's a lot of positive though just a lot of things you need to consider at the same time Although, sadly, it looks like he's only getting 0.1 prestige a month. So, he's not going to get a whole lot. And when he finally takes your throne, that domain you gave him is going to go back into your control, essentially. And then you can redistribute it as you will after that. Especially with Primagenter. If that helps answer your question at all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, at this point, it definitely is a good idea to give your primary heir all the ex excess domains, so that way he can build up his own uh, renown, essentially. Since now you don't need to give it to your other, sib other children that might inherit it from you. Yeah, I kind of forgot about the free tax event, if I'm completely honest. I've just been... The first half of the game I was collect taxes, but then when I realized development could be useful, I was almost exclusively development to try and get that going. Can you make me a kingdom title? Because everyone keeps telling me you can do that. I can grant you a kingdom title. The only problem is it won't be anywhere where you currently own, I think. Like, I know Estonia, at least if I get that, it'll help. Well, let's see. What kingdom titles do I currently have? I have Galicia... I could, in theory, grant you Galicia at least, and since you have some of the dom the realms in that, I know yeah. you weren't interested in Lithuania or the Northern regions because you had nothing up there. Yeah, this doesn't make sense because it would it would actually be detrimental to me because they're not I'm not their rightful liege, and then I'd get rebellions. Like, yeah. can you do anything with Great Mavaria or no? Where? The kingdom. Go to Kingdom of Great Mavaria. Can you form that? Uh, Kitty already has the Kingdom of Mavaria. What? No, or, no Great Molta. Mavaria. I, I don't see uh, Great Mav Where is Great Mavaria? Okay, so click click on your actual title, the picture. Like, go to your profile. Go to your... Go to the, the, like, the flag of the Emperor of Polania. Click that. Then it should show you all of the kingdoms in your du jour and then it should show you two kingdoms not yet created oh uh, we talked kingdom about this Sanya. before i have zero du jour counties of zero uh, for creating that, that i don't know what, what the about criteria estonia? is estonia i can't actually create that apparently yeah that one in uh i think yeah the question is where is that exactly because that's uh, way it's, up north it's north it's of, uh, it's north of uh, lithuania yeah, and you probably don't want that as the problem. So do Galatia then, I guess? Because I have lands. I can grant you that, I think. Oh, I have quite a few of their lands. I have, like, almost half. Yeah, now that you actually have territory in that realm, I could probably grant it to you. Yeah. Oh, I have two new claims? What? When did they get those? Also, are we working on primogenitor so that I don't have to keep worrying about? It's all. It's been unlocked ages ago. You just have to, you just have to set it up for your own ruling. Um. Oh, I can't do it yet until thirteen seventy. 
Yeah, you need Crown Authority 3. You need your vassals to all have positive, or at least your powerful vassals that have plus mo opinion of you. Yeah. And then whatever timeline might be available. But it's been unlocked a while ago. It was okay. the first thing I got. Yeah, once I get the kingdom title, I, I'll stop being overextension because I have too many counties. Even though my domain holding says eight of nine, I'm overextended by 20 counties. Yeah, and I don't really have any realm of my own in Galicia, so feel free to have it. Sweet. Can you give me the Duke of uh, Haltsy? So I'll be closer to connecting my lands. Where? Uh, the Duke to my right. If you look at the bottom of uh, Empire Polinia, He's above Carpathia, in between Burgerman and me. He's a one-county duchy. He's got the bird, like a, a black bird with a white flag. I'm trying to find him here. If you click the Yeah, I just duchy. didn't see his icon when I was looking over granting a vassal to you, though. Oh, okay. For some reason, yeah, I don't see him as one of the candidates I could select when I want to he, transfer. Yeah, he's directly under you, so. Yeah, it won't let me do that. Okay, give me... For some reason. Wait, wait, am I... What? Wait a second. And somehow I'm sick. Someone poisoned you. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Oh, gosh. Wait, it says... Oh, he's under me already. Never mind. When you gave me that title, can I get that county? Uh, what's it called? South, South, well, South. Well, that's my South county South? currently, the one I own in the realm at the moment. No, no, the one all the way to the right, in between my lands. Suslaw, yeah, I own it currently. It's my oh, realm. Okay. It's my county at the moment. Okay. Do I? So I'll consider it if I ever have too much domains in the future. All right, I just need to get that. That county from uh, Burger Man. Oh, this is his. That's his capital. Oh no, that's the king's capital underneath him. Okay, I gotta form a. Actually, can you can you form a claim for that? For the the county of uh, you, you sure? I can't even see that. People trying to murder me. Jeez, everyone loves me. Why are they murdering me? Do you see? Do you know what I'm talking about? The one in between my lands. Where at? The. It's if you want to do finder. I don't know if you can find it, but it. Do you see? If you zoom out, like zoom all the way out, to you so you can see the whole empire. Do you see the part where the bottom of the empire is split by a piece of green land? Not the middle part. The the bottom part. Like, I'm talking about that county at the very bottom. It's U-S-H-Y-T-S-I-A. Is it a duchy or just a regular county? Oh, it's just a count county. I just think you should form a claim on that so that we could go to war for it. Oh, you mean in Kiev? Kiev or what are you referring to? You, the... you, um... There, let me live stream it so you can see it. Well, I'm not going to be able to look at it because I'm doing my own stream there at the moment. And then oh, we'll have yeah, double yeah, audio. Yeah. Double audio. Um, Can you find counties or do you have to... I can def set it up towards counties. Find t oh, yeah, here you go. It's find, count uh, find title. So it's going to be U-S-H-Y-T-S-I-A. Say it again. U S H Y T S I A. Yeah, that's in Kiev there. That's part of yeah. the Duchy of Kiev. Yeah, I'm trying to get that so I can connect both of the lands. Well we have we could just do a holy war for it easily enough. Okay. We don't need a claim. 
We do. Wait, he's part of the Catholic tree, though. I don't know if you can you call a crusade for that. No, he is hostile, so I believe they can because the cat's religion, everything else, were Christian faiths. Yeah, I'm working on the cat cat's religion right now. Well, I guess I know what the plan is for the future then. Hmm. War is inevitable. It's just a question on how much they're going to rage okay, if I were... Okay, me back. Now, it's a question of which men at arm do I get? Do I get... I already got two pikemen, I think. But do I get more horsemen or more footmen? That's what I'm honestly wondering. Since Burgerman basically has a little bit of everything here. Hmm. I think I just go more regular footmen because I already got two pikemen. The cavalry are a bit odd because it's really easy. F They're kind of the oddball there of this group. I kind of got them just for more pursuit damage. Lots of forces. This would be good for crossbowmen and regular troops. And not so much for knights, and that's assuming I even go to war with Burgerman. And I did just get an alliance with Germany, which means I'm safe there from being sandwiched. Because briefly, Burgerman did have an alliance with Germany. I'm going to get the extra footmen just to have a nice round, gr eh, well rounded group, hopefully. Two footmen. Hello, kitty. Two crossbows. Hey, yes. I have a very nice uh, uh, thing to offer to you. Okay. I just sent you a proposal. Marriage sure. proposal. Uh oh. Yeah. Make sure it's make sure it's the proper marriage, so that way you get all the claims. No, it's gonna go to his dynasty. It's not your heir. And she has no coins. But you would have my alliance. A very powerful one. Yeah, I, I could get armored knights. It's just oh, you did accept. So, what are you planning? Can I help you with anything? Nope. No, not at the moment. Nothing. I'm all good here right now. He, he could be trying to incentivize you to overthrow your liege. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing that to Miles. Miles is a very dangerous man. Very dangerous. Very vengeful. Very vengeful. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying that now we are allies. And I want to help you the same way you might want to help me, too. Nope, oh, you're uh, going to regret this. I see. Yeah, might regret it, kitty. Actually... I'm not planning anything, so I have nothing to regret. I don't want to be hated. Hated? Hated by who? Now, I don't know if this is actually possible, but two more mm, years. So. I think I might be the first one to use this hands <laughs> for something. I foresee that this will might attack. So it's a defensive situation. Say what? Would you defend me? Kitty. No matter what? You want you to my defend defensive them. My probably defensive war against Bissell.
It sounds like he'll call you to war if he gets attacked, basically. Where Will you... are you? He's based Sacred um, Frisia, west of Poland, basically, where it looks like Poland's trying to eat his territory. Yeah, I'm Kaiser Berengar, the third one, the scholar of Sacred Frisia. Yep, make sure you have it set to Realms, because I think he has a different name in game than on Discord. Oh, yes. <laughs> so look for Sacred Frisia, which used to be, or at least the color used to be the Holy Roman Empire. Yeah, under Germany and something where Netherlands should be. I'm also in Portugal and Wales. Interesting. Going to war with Pomerania. I think I'm kind of okay with that. Because he has a lot of power as is. Counselor died. There goes my valuable marshal. I'm not the most powerful one, but I am powerful. And are you helping him? Oh, no, not really helping him. If you if he's at war at the moment, I was. What are you planning, Oath? You are on your own for some while. Indeed. I am, I pretty much already met my criteria, looks like, at the moment. So I'll leave that a mystery. What the heck? What's going on? Now, does herbalism help me with my health? Only for countering penalties, which isn't all that big, but let me turn off losing weight. Interesting. Ooh, you're a witch. Ooh, we can get money, because I need to spend this friggin' fate and all that, dang it. The biggest concern I have there, productivity, with going to these wars is, if I were, example, to go to war with Lord Walker, which I was thinking of doing, then I fear all the Nietzscheans would just jump me. Because that's kind of what it seemed like been happening for a while, especially when they founded their own religion. They kind of all allied with each other, and all the Catholics for a brief period all allied with each other too. I only allied with the Western Europe, Simply because it was a matter of convenience if they decide to go after me. I don't want to go. I don't want to ally with the West if I can help it, because it helps adds that tension as opposed to everyone allied with everyone else, ideally. But I'm worried about going to war because they probably will just do that to me, essentially. And I don't know how to appropriately prepare if I get my ass beat, let alone the horse nest I would probably stir up. Because I'm really content with with how things are now, especially that I'm connected to the Black Sea. I just need this one little duchy and I'm hoping I might be close enough. I don't honestly know how this works, if I can actually get this duchy back. Since if I can get you in my court, make you a duke, maybe I can inherit this into my realm if I'm so lucky. More secrets exposed. Everyone has secrets. God. All right. What's your uh, uh name and Steam or or the, in the game? In oh, game? in game, I'm called new, the new Mark. I'm okay. actually I did change my nickname to my answer. Okay, remark. No, new the mark. new Mark. The, the new, new mark. mark. Yeah. So he's Kaiser Benregard the third at the moment. If you're looking for an actual ruler. And you can hit Control S, remember key, to 
see all the players in the game. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for him. Yeah. He basically owns the realm where Poland is eating his territory. At least visually, it looks like. Yeah, I'm taking a bite from those red. Or it's taking a bite out of you. Yeah, I also have an enclave of something red. <laughs> Boom. You got a little bit of a, a sit on you too, of Helius. You've got to, you should get that checked. Oh, herbalism helps you with heresy. That's an odd one. I didn't know herbalism helps at all there. But I'll take disease resistance, although I don't think it's helpful. I will take any positive traits, though, especially when I get when I'm getting closer and closer to infirm. But I kind of would love if somehow he makes it to a hundred years. Especially if you can get raised as well. All right, geez, finally I see you. Like, am I blind? Where is he? Yes, I'm kidding. By the way, <laughs> it's kind of insulting. I I, I am huge. Uh, Oath. Yes? Can you take a county off my hands that's not connected by my lands? Because you don't want to take or give me that other county, so I, can you take a county from me instead? I could swap counties, take your one there, although I would need a claim on it, otherwise I get Tierney. Which one? The one that's not touching my land, the small one all by itself. Is it on your left side or uh right side. It's it's the one above that count that tiny county by itself. The one I was asking about earlier. Oh, the one that's that would have been connected if I gave you that one. Don't yeah, 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 yeah. So can you just try the fabric game on the uh, the small one above it so you could take that? And then I don't know. Start working your way on the. Uh, Eastern Roman Empire counties that are in the center of the land. Yeah, I'm, I'm just seeing about inheriting it back into Poland, but... Oh, are you going to do it that way? Because it's easy. Well, just... I have a family member in there. They're about yeah. to be of age. Their heir is of my dynasty. I'm just wondering if I can invite them to court and then make them one of my vassals to maybe reintegrate it. I just Would don't you... know how it works. Okay, yeah, me either. Okay. Um. Okay, let me go back to the other chat and see. With that said, let's convert some of these religions back, although I do want to convert some of their culture too. But that might not be as important as the religion, maybe. Also, uprisings. No risk of uprisings. Up, what's this decision? Oh, more knights. Yes, please. Keep those knights going. We need to start increasing their effectiveness as much as we can. And ideally keep myself at a thousand gold in case of a sudden war to feed, at least feed my war efforts. Is Mouse still in here? Doesn't seem like it. He's down in Northwest Europe at the moment with Burgerman and everyone else. But I think I have a great idea for the next campaign, Kitty, because I know you're going to love it. Oh, mercy. I, that Klee has drove me crazy. I had to turn her off. Well, why did you... I don't know why you left Genjin Impact open all this time. I don't know. I run it's not several BD, games. It's not BDO after all. Yeah, well, I got BDO open too. I know. As much as I hate it, I know why you have it open. Because how do you think it's doing on my stream? I had to put up with Klee, too. Oh, I'm you... sorry. I didn't think about that. Ass. 
Although, you could have always muted the game. Oh well, the damage has been done. Everyone's been exposed to the Klee. Everyone knows about the explosive fire starter. But yeah, I have a great idea for the next campaign, which I know you're going to love, Kitty. Since apparently I've been playing too passive this campaign, so we need to mix that up a little bit. Oh, I think I'm being ignored right now. <laughs> Let's continue with the feast. It's a great way to deal with my stress, at least, because of my current traits. Oh yeah, and I gotta remember, I could develop capital more. Ooh, and I reduce stress tremendously because of my lifestyle traits. My health should be really good now. I am gonna live for a long ass time, although... I should have got Pigagoji a while ago, in all honesty. That way I could have got more traits with my wards. That would have been useful. Otherwise, when can I get more money from the Pope? Seek indulgence. Nah, I'm not paying 750 gold to get 100 piety. Although I think that has more to do with sins, if I believe. See, and both. Now I have faced in uh, North Africa. Uh oh, where are you expanding to? I'm going to do some colonies. Distinct colonies before we were aware of North America. Sadly, I couldn't even do anything to get go to war for the other foreign realms. I would like to do that, but I think they're too far away. I'm wondering why I can't go to Africa or India. <laughs> it's because you need some places before that. Okay. Maybe I could just take your territory down there then. That would be surprisingly... Uh, not a great idea. Probably not. But it's an option. It's always an option. Maybe not easy though. Let's keep on building and maximize this fort ideally. Although let's wait till we get a little more cash for that. Unless like I I was going to check what, if I could get money from the Pope. I completely forgot about it. There are two years, so it's going to be a while waiting. All right. But yeah. Since I'm not really doing anything at all, it's... We do definitely need to try and spice up some, although I gotta wait till religion... Until my convert religion's all done. Well, you're not very good, diplomat. I figured my genius and decent right diplomacy would help you there. Yeah, I think I'll make you up oh, obese again, really? Fine, be that way. Occupied writing for a year, that I'm fine with. Uh oh, that don't sound good. Mouse is about to lose a war of some kind. Well, that was unfortunate. Mouse just immediately lost the war due to his ruler getting kidnapped or imprisoned. What the heck happened there? Oh, they're just going over to the east, are they? 
And I don't have a Cassius Belly. I can't even do to clear Holy War, and they're friggin' evil. Interesting. I can't even go to war over here to take territory like everyone else. Is that only be only reason I could think of is they got claims over there, dang it. That's the only thing I could think of on why they're able to go over there. Since if everyone else is expanding, I could do the same. And big war going on down south too. Oh, that's what boom, interestingly. Well, the players are fighting each other, and I could really screw them over by declaring war. This would actually be a good opportunity to do it. With possible repercussions, I'm more interested in a straight up fight, I think, if I'm going to fight at all. I just need to understand the war a little bit better. Because again, my early incentive, I think, was justified why I don't go to wars, because... Fighting for counties with such large armies doesn't honestly seem worth it, especially if I'm giving it to a vassal. But that was before I learned about the elective laws, before I had to better manage my inheritance, and things like that. Because again, I, I don't believe I would gain value that way with my line of thinking. Now, you are of age... Invite them to court. And I can grant them a title. I need to give them a duchy though. Do I have any claims in this realm? I have plenty of claims in Greater Poland, it seems like. Didn't I have a secret on them? I thought I did, but I don't anymore. Oh my goodness! What? Don't need to yell, what's going on? I just lost my capital because I wasn't paying attention and there was a thing up saying that they didn't think that I was the rightful heir. Uh -huh. So you got an uprising on you, huh? And it happened again. You have 9,000 troops. You can still take it back. Oh, jeez. My luck. You just gotta pay attention, dang it. You get early. You have like months and months to see this coming. You got indicators up top. There's a faction tab to check that. You can go to war and take it back, dang it. Now get to it. So they're currently at war. At a Liberty War. I would like to revoke the kingdom. That sounds like a terrible idea, but... They won't accept Pomerania, though. Alright, let's see if 55% I would like to take that. I don't like the 55% though, dang it. Because I think I know what I want to do. If I can find a secret that will help a ton.
Well, they're currently in a war. Maybe I can take it from now. Because they're currently losing said war. And I can't even join their war. I just don't like rolling this 50-50 chance, but if they say no, then there's a war. And then I just fight them, I guess. They currently have a terrible ally. Just because of the war, they might agree to it. Alright, let's get to doing this quickly. I was hoping not it would not come to this, but at least we'll help with our liberty war problem, huh? And if my I don't know if it's gonna work like I'm thinking, but if I can get that, give them a kingdom title, then I should in theory get the duchy. I just gotta forbid him from being a knight, though, is the caveat. Prowse 8. Keep him safe from harm. I gotta figure out which one's my friggin' siege weapons! And, okay, again, gotta find the friggin' cannons. And feed my food, because they're losing food quickly. At least the bombards are doing work. Let's see if I can crush these... Well, that was fast. I didn't think my troops would be that quick. Oh, holy crap! Why are we going so quickly? I don't know why they're going so fast, but okay. This is a little nonsense. Well, I benefit from it. I'm not the one who's really in the wars to kind of have to be, really feel threatened by this. Alright, Burgerman pause now, so I can't take the blame now, but I did to maybe prompt some awareness into this. Yeah, another thing that happened there, Kitty, I don't know if you noticed, but for some reason we were four speed for a bit. But yeah, have you declared your war to get back your friggin' kingdom? No, wait a minute, I'm trying to. It. I, you have the claim, so you sh should be able to do that. Unless there's a truce of some kind. No, there shouldn't be. A, every time I get my army, like, right around her, um, I can't declare war. Yeah, can you see why? Your troops are up, that's why. Disband your friggin' troops. You can't go to war with your troops up.
That would be the reason why you can't, at least. Oh, no wonder. I did disband him, and then I'm like, oh, I can go to war now. And bought him back out, and then couldn't again. Lord. Yeah. Yep, you can't cheat the system like that. Only I can, uh... when I'm an ally. Hate to be the bear bad news. <laughs> you can't cheat the game. Cranes is done, so why can't I... Okay, now I can build, sort of. Alright, let me select my friggin' other armies. And try to take what I can. I don't need 20,000 troops in the same area. Although it would be really nice if I again could split up my bombards just to be able to siege a settlement properly. That's the only thing I dislike. But I'll get this kingdom title easily enough. Just gonna take a little bit of time. I don't know if I'll get to intercept them in time, but we'll try. And I can't see these settlements, alas. Try as I might. Apparently I have the war goal, which I saw was Lithuania. Or maybe it's because I'm the king or the emperor. And yeah, these settlements or these castles are not very potent, so I can siege them with just regular troops, apparently. Which I am fine with. Alright, let's finish this off as quickly as we can. I don't want to be in this war any longer than I have to. And I could just assault the fort, but I think we're fine as is. Just crush this army. Oh, and look, ah, uh, we almost crushed the entire thing, but... How many do we kill? Two thousand of their troops. We're about done. No hard feelings there. Now I'm just going to take this kingdom from you. Although that's a lot of titles, let's keep that in mind. Now, hopefully you cooperate, because I have a goddamn ton of realms to manage.
Now, I don't know how exactly this is going to work, I hope. It worked as I was playing, but now I have a lot of assholes. Let's figure this out quickly. No, I want realm, not religion, dang it. And we'll grant you a bunch of... Well, we'll grant you extra titles, I guess. If I'm able to. Just imagine, all this time and effort and Lithuania is going to go to Burger Man. Let's start making those predictions. All this effort just to get a friggin' duchy. Ah well. It's an experiment worth trying. I am willing to attempt it. Just to see the results. Now, what do I have that I don't care about? I'll give them to my family members, I guess. Ideally... That solves all my, that problem. It weakens, uh... Lorelian's power, or at least his family's power. Hopefully we finally got the results I want. Hopefully, just hopefully. Now there's only one thing left to do. God dang it. Because I grant them titles, apparently he does not inherit it. He does not, he's not the next in line anymore, dang it. What the heck am I supposed to do? Is there any way he inherits the title? Even if it means just killing everyone? I just wonder what the heck am I... Why is he no longer the heir anymore? They're all dynasty members, so I'll friggin' get them in my core if he'll let me. Sounds like your leash. Looks like your husband needs to die. I do not understand. Because the problem is, even though I got him in my court, it's not like I'm going to inherit that title. I don't know. I thought I finally had it there. At long last, I could get that duchy. And he was the friggin' heir, for crying out loud. I do not understand why he's no longer eligible for that title. Because the problem is now it looks like the heir is my great-grandson. And it means I'm going to lose Lithuania. <sighs> I do not understand what happened there. Once he has his own children, that might not be an issue, but still. All I really got is claims that territory.
Well, that's annoying. All that time and effort basically wasted, it feels like. I don't know if I was on the right course or not. I figured he would naturally inherit it. Because why wouldn't you, you watch your realm? It could have something to do with the succession rules or something like that, but that is unfortunate. All that time and effort. And I basically put myself at risk now if they don't have themselves an heir. Which they... Yeah, they do have two children. They just got twins. Which is nice, but still. What a waste of my time. I want to try and learn the other dynamics to gain territory besides just being a warmonger, dang it. And alas, I got... I don't think I learned anything now with that failing. Only alternative I could think of is maybe kill everyone. Oh. Well, now the twins get the territory, but guess what? What, is, what the heck does that mean, I wonder? Since apparently as soon as I grant them a title in my realm, they won't inherit the duchy. Oh, I guess we're... I think we're finishing up there, maybe. Because people are leaving. Alright. Okay. How's your work? Oh, congrats on getting your kingdom back, dang it. Thankfully, it wasn't too difficult, since they had only had a small army. And now you're back on track to ruling the world again. Anyways, I'm going to hop over to the other channel see if we're finishing, which I assume we are. Yeah. Hello, yeah, I take Yeah, but I take I'm 16. Hey. I get the perks. I'll be competitive. Nah, he's got the legacy bonuses. He's way better. I take it we're all done here then? Yeah, we're done. Yeah. I'm going to go try and see if I can see that meteor shower. All right, perfect. Oh, cool. See you all next week then. It's supposed to be like the biggest meteor shower ever. Good night, wow. Nancy. Appreciate the help, Fable. So we'll see how it goes yeah, on uh, Tuesday. I'm excited. All right, I don't know what to make of that day. That was unfortunate. All that effort, I thought I was making ground finally, but apparently it amounted to nothing. I'm going to have to play around with that some more. Although, again, it could have something to do with the current succession laws and things like that. I'm not entirely certain. Oh well. At the very least, I want to say I helped stabilize my empire a little bit, rather than having one vassal that's competitive with my military. At least for a time being. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I will see you next time.